wrong. They found 45 dead bodies there. Now, does that make any sense to you? There was a, a really interesting point that um, Sherry Fink made, and it was that um, real life events don't always portray a clear cut narrative. Yes, that's well, I think that's true. I also think I, I always say we are, first of all, if you haven't read Sherry Fink's book, it's incredible and something we should all read. It's also so beautifully narratively written. You feel like you're reading a story. It doesn't feel dry at all. My mama listened to it on audiobook on her walks. She quite enjoyed that. Uh, but being a dramatization of that book also gives us a chance to really get inside the psychology and the emotional life of the characters in a way that really humanizes every point of view and every situation in a way that a documentary can't do. Yeah, so Karen Wynn, she, you know, she's there to do her job like any other day. And as the situation gets more complex and uh, and uh, beyond control, she's got to focus on her job. She's got to get things done. She can't wallow. Um, there is no time to kind of, she doesn't have the luxury to take in other aspects of what's going on around her. She's got to take care of her patients as best as she can. Um, and also take care of her staff because she's a nurse manager. And so uh, despite the fact that she's tired and exhausted, as as everyone is, um, we have a responsibility to do. Um, uh, and it also helps to focus on your job when you have family that you're not with. And um, so I feel like that's like the main uh, the main narrative for Karen Wynn in this in this in this series. Yeah, my character is Dr. Brian King, and he is a doctor on staff at Memorial Hospital. Uh, he's one of the only African-American doctors on that staff. Uh, he's been at the hospital at that point maybe less than a year, uh, maybe eight, ten months maybe. Um, and so he's he's faced with um, a whole host of uh, circumstances and really just... Um, really impossible things to kind of decide as as in conjunction with the entire staff. Uh, and so he's really kind of navigating and trying to find his way in a new place, in a new building uh, with new people. And on top of that, you have these circumstances that just elevate every single element of, of life. Well, I, I would say that I am the moral center of the, of the, of the piece, uh, so to speak. Uh, Dr. Horace Baltz uh, was a man of uh, conviction, and he's the oldest man on the staff there. He's been there longer than anybody. And um, he, um, he's the calm within the storm. He's very, he knows what he has to do uh, of course, he doesn't know that he's going to be tested like they all are. There is nothing else to do for them except to make them comfortable. Obviously, you had a baseline with Sherry Fink's book, but you broke this down hour by hour, day by day. Tell me about constructing that and um, what the stories you wanted to tell. What were the stories you wanted to tell? in the miniseries. We also had Sherry Fink's book, and Sherry Fink is a journalist for the New York Times who interviewed over 500 people and spent six years writing the book that is the basis for this story. So we had this kind of incredible uh, narrative to pick from. And then really our job as filmmakers was to try to choose the things that we felt were most salient in telling the story. And I think it's a story that people really don't remember or don't know, you know, people know about Hurricane Katrina, but I don't think they really know what went on in this hospital where there were 2,000 people uh, underwater, without power, trying to figure out how they were going to survive and get out. Five Days at Memorial is available on Apple TV+. Plus. I'm Sari Cohen. I'll see you next time. All I did was try to help people. That is all I did.